For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. First of all, thanks to Almighty God for His marvelous plan of redemption. Secondly, our team here at Gospel Express wants to express our heartfelt gratitude to all of you. Thank you for helping make this ministry possible. Our headquarters are nestled in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in Columbus, North Carolina. The main building consists of offices, an apartment, and most recently, a music studio. The multi-purpose building serves as the Bible study and materials facility, a sound room, a storage room for our African ministry, two apartments, and a maintenance shop. Our days at the office headquarters begin with staff devotions and a time of prayer. We're so blessed with our incredible office personnel and our maintenance and hospitality team who carry out the daily operations. A team of directors and our seven-member executive board from seven different states give oversight to the ministry. Our mission focuses on evangelism, discipleship, and compassion, while our values emphasize team building, communication, and relationships. Church revivals and community tent meetings give a platform for the lost to be saved, the believers to be encouraged, and marriages and families to be strengthened. A recent testimony said, God moved in my life in a way I have never experienced. I was able to find freedom from bitterness, anger, and fear. When I responded to the altar calls, I felt God's presence in a way I never experienced. The call to prison ministry still reverberates throughout the ministry. The multi-prison crusades give opportunities for singing, preaching, and one-on-one -on -one interaction to bring the light and hope of Jesus Christ to those who are lonely and often feel forsaken. In some facilities, volleyball and basketball provide recreational opportunities to connect. Hundreds of volunteers participate in these events, and we say thank you. Out of a crusade, an inmate wrote, my unfortunate shattered past was riddled with sin and selfishness. I was a slave to evil, impure thoughts and actions. Alone I sat in a confinement cell when someone came to minister. Announcing out loud my weakness and failure in obedience, I admitted my powerlessness over addiction. I pleaded with the Lord to come into my life and give me guidance. It was then I discovered that Jesus was the rock at my bottom and I was never alone. We offer two seminars, From Bondage to Freedom and Conflict Resolution to follow up a prison crusade or as a standalone resource. Both seminars, as well as an evangelistic service, are now available on DVD to send to prisons. The greatest increase in prison ministry has been in the Bible study courses. Very generous, timely donations and earmarked fundraisers have enabled great opportunities for growth. Every two weeks, 80 prisons receive a launch packet that includes a sample of all the Bible study courses, along with additional materials. We're getting closer and closer to reaching all 5,000 federal and state prisons in the U.S. with these materials. Thank you to all the hundreds of graders across the nation that spend many hours grading these lessons and corresponding with inmates. These Bible studies are now translated and available in Spanish. And we are very excited to announce that a new course is currently being developed from the book of Ephesians. A testimony received from an inmate stated, I want to let you know that I enjoyed these studies. I'm wanting to learn more about our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for all that you do. I somehow feel that there is someone out there that does care for us in here. Now let's travel across the waters to the continent of Africa, primarily in Uganda, Nigeria, Kenya, and Ghana. Prison ministry and Bible distribution is a large part of the international ministry. Meeting physical needs has given an incredible opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. These needs are met through medical clinics, surgeries, food parcel distribution, giving of blankets, mosquito nets, 
building new shelters, and digging water wells. When a team arrives to set up a medical clinic, many people are usually gathered and waiting in anticipation. The gospel is preached as they wait. After being seen by a doctor, local pastors pray for people as they leave the clinic. Many have given their life to Christ through these clinics. At times, individuals from remote villages are transported to city hospitals and clinics for surgeries or ongoing medical care. This is all made possible through your generous donations for these desperate needs. Thank you for bringing hope to these dear people in the far regions of Africa. Food distribution provides another avenue to share the gospel. According to local pastors, this has brought revival. In some cases, church attendance has greatly increased because people sense the spirit of Jesus when receiving the food. New shelters are continually under construction, from a small thatch roof hut to a block structure with windows and a tin roof. One recipient stated, we never thought we would ever hear rain on the roof. Another recipient, a grown man, testified that he saw a reflection of himself for the first time when he looked at the glass in the front door of his new shelter. Water wells are another God-given platform. Through a generous donation, a manual village drill was purchased and shipped to Uganda from the U.S. to assist in digging wells. This also gives opportunity for local employment. Villagers who came to get their supply of water from a mud hole are now able to receive clean water from a well. So much rejoicing and celebration. Often before the dedication prayer for the well, local pastors take this opportunity to present Jesus, the living water. So from our entire team at Gospel Express and all those who have benefited from your prayers, financial gifts, and words of encouragement, we say thank you for giving to the Lord. And let's remember, we are all in full-time ministry. We just carry out the calling in different ways. Be encouraged as we partner together with each other and the soon coming King of Kings, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is worthy of all praise, honor, and glory.